Praise the Lord once again. My name is Alpha Kamiya Omusolo from Scripture Union once again. And today we are continuing with our series on understanding yourself as a youth. Remember our previous episode? We were looking at mental development as a growth pattern. So today, what our focus is going to be on is social development. Yes, I said social development. And if I pose a question, what is social development? Many scholars have come up with their own defi- definitions. But to me, I will say that social development is basically the process of acquiring social skills that will enable you to live in accordance with the society values and expectations. Yes, our societies expect a lot from us. They expect us to behave in a certain way that befits our traditions and culture. But many times you realize we are behaving in a way that makes society get shocked. We behave in a way that demeans the values and cultures of our societies. Social development is something that is a process. It's not a one-night thing. No, it is a process of growth and many times like learning is and so is development of the society. Praise the Lord friends. I'm going to take us to a reading in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 33 that says, Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good character. Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good character. Now, if you're looking at social development, this is the development in society. How are you developing socially? What is your company? Who are the people you commune with? Who are the people you dine with? Who are the people you spend your time with? When I was growing up, in my O level, at school, I was welcomed by a gang of people, a gang of boys who became my company. Eventually, I end up being a mess because I was always in that company and in that company, for you to qualify to be there, you had to fulfill the following. One, you had to do drugs. Two, you must have a number of girlfriends. Three, bathing is not your portion and so we could go to play you play basketball in a maram court very dusty you come back with very dirty legs in the evening because you are late you rush for food with a bucket the bucket used for bathing is the one you carry to go for food and you demand the cooks to fill it with portion beans and that was our company you go and you eat you go for preps before you realize it is cold you haven't bathed the thing we do, you put on socks, because legs are dirty, put on socks and enter bed. In the morning, you wake up when you're clean. Now, that was a very bad company. Thanks to God that I joined Scripture Union and I got the right company. Now, bathing is my portion. I don't know about you there. But social development is greatly determined also by your company. If your company is bad, then it is going to corrupt that little good morals that you have. Who are your friends? Who are the people you spend time with? What do you do? What do you feed your eyes with? Do not be the reason others are going off the road. Do not be the reason others are being corrupted. But be the reason people are getting back on the right track. The society is expecting a lot from you. But also remember, you as a person, you must develop personal goals and values. When you're developing socially, you have to look at your mental ability to handle certain things and to take wise decisions. Friends, like the Bible says clearly, good company will be corrupted if you have a company of bad people. I was good, possibly, from background of a reverend. 
from my primary. I was a very good boy. When I went to my O level, I was corrupted. And with the time, others joined the group. I also corrupted them because I was already corrupted. I don't know if you are corrupting people out there. But what is your company? Are you following your company properly? Are you leading them the right path? How about you get a company of people interested in the word of the Lord? How about you get a company of people interested in investing? How about you get into company of people that are interested in charity works? Don't you think it will be of much value to both yourself and society? Other than being in the company of people who go in the bushes to smoke weed. Being in the company of people who are waiting to protest. When the government says by seven you must be home, it's time for curfew. For you, it is the time you now want to move out so that you can cause chaos. That is wrong. You're going to your, put yourself in trouble and you regret it. But many times when we are in that wrong company, we think we are the people. We are the kids on the block. No. Being a kid on the block is doing the right thing at the right time, in the right place. Social development starts right from when you're a child. The people you keep spending time with greatly model who you become in the future. If you want to be a footballer and you're spending time with footballers, then surely you will have something planned and you'll get there. But if you want to be a preacher, and you're spending time with the people who do not know even the Bible, then it will take you time to get to a point where you can be a preacher. Start young and grow in the right line. Be careful who your friend is and be mindful. Remember, you are the CEO of your life. You determine who comes in and who gets out. Depending on what you want for yourself, Decide wisely who is going to come in your life to influence you and who should step out. For as long as you have good values, get people who suit in your values. We love you and see you in the next episode. God bless you.